This is the moment for me. One can look at it and say, this is meaningless. They already won. There was no point in doing this. But what I'm going to say is this is a visual representation of the mindset of the current USA 17s team. A dog doesn't know what the score is. A dog just knows that it's a dog and it's going to do dog thing. Right now, I'm seeing some old dogs and some young dogs really come together and look like a pack. They roll through Uganda. They roll through Great Britain and then go down to the last second in an epic match against Australia and draw. But let's talk about the Fiji match because, oh my, not a lot going on in the first half. But in the second half, David still introduced Fiji to New Jersey. What really got me is this second goal in the same sequence of play. It appears Still's going to go in and try to bring the house down again, but instead pulls back, steps to the side, creates a pass, and Joe Schrader goes Inspector Gadget on the whole stadium and puts down a try. That wisdom to know that Fiji is likely expecting another big shot from me and then instead taking a step back and working it back inside is unselfish, it's wise, and it's great rugby. Seven to five, four minutes to go, David still does it again. Runs on the outside, instead of bumping, instead of stepping, he just says, I'm going to the try line, I'm scoring, and look how pumped up he is. 12 to seven, USA. Still showing up with gridlock defense in Malachi Esdale with a beautiful step, takes it the whole way and puts in a great try, making it 17 to 7. And then here we go. You have to love this ending. No time left. It's 17 to 7. It doesn't matter if Fiji scores, but Ben Brazel says it matters to me and they are not going to score. Credit to these boys and of course credit to the veterans, Steve Thomasine, Kayvon Williams, Perry Baker, Tupuola continuing to rise. It is a beautiful thing to see all of these new dogs and older dogs come together and credit to Mike Friday. It is not easy to come in and reload with all these new guys, put it together and and still have the respect and following from the previous generation players that are still rocking with the squad. This is a beautiful and dangerous thing that we are seeing here for USA 7, only up from here. Just want to end this video as well with a prayer for Lucas LeCamp. I believe in the power of prayer, and I just declare in the name of Jesus Christ that he is healed and that he is back on this field because he has been a huge asset for this USA 7's team.